hello everyone welcome back to our channel in today's video i'm gonna show you how you can change your instagram username watch this video until the very end so that you won't make mistake in the process now let's get started firstly open up your instagram app now tap on person icon on the bottom right of your screen from there tap on edit profile button now tap on username remove your current username and type the username you want to change to the username you have typed in must be unique one after you type in your new username tap on check button as soon as you do that your username will be changed but keep in mind that once you change your username you cannot change your username for two weeks how you can log into your Instagram account using your Facebook details. First, go to any browser on your desktop. Then, on the search bar, search for Instagram.com. Uh, once you on to an interface like this, if your Instagram account is already connected with the Facebook, you can see this option here Login with Facebook. So, go and tap onto this option. And by tapping on, you'll be directed to the login page for Facebook account. So, you'll have to enter your email address that is associated to your Facebook account. Then, enter the password that you have set for your Facebook account too. Now once you are done entering the login details of your Facebook, you will have directly logged into your Instagram account. So this is how you log into your Instagram account using your Facebook details. And with all this information, I think you can log into your Instagram account with the Facebook details in no time now. How you can change your Instagram account password. Now let's move on and open your Instagram. Now tap on profile icon on the bottom right of your screen. Now. You need to tap on three lines on the top right of your screen. Now from the menu, tap on settings. Now you need to tap on security. Now tap on password. Now you need to type in your current password. And now you need to type in your new password including letters, special characters and numbers which will make your password strong. Again, re-enter your new password. If in case you have forgotten your current password, you can tap forgotten your password link and reset your new password. Then tap on tick on the top right of your screen and then your password will change. And in your next login, you must type in your new password to get logged into Instagram account. How you can change your profile picture on Instagram. Open your Instagram app. Now from here, head over to profile section. Now tap on edit profile button. Now tap on edit picture. After that, you can see three options on your screen. Now from there, tap on new profile picture. It will head it to your phone gallery where you can choose your new profile picture. After that, tap on arrow button. You can add filter on your picture. Now again, tap on right arrow button to move on. And here you can see your profile picture is loading. Now you can see new profile picture. And that's how you can change your profile picture. How to remove song from Instagram. Now if you had added a song to your Instagram post and you've already posted it, there is no way that you can remove that particular song that you've added. If you don't want to hear the song, what you can do is you can tap on this speaker or the audio option on the bottom right of the post and that song will be muted. That's the only thing that you can do and you cannot remove that song completely. If you want to remove it completely, you will need to delete the entire post from your profile on Instagram. Similarly, on any other post that people have posted, you can also do the same by tapping on the audio option on the bottom right of the post. So that's the only way that you can mute the song on your Instagram and you cannot remove it completely. How to tag someone in Instagram story. So first of all, if you haven't downloaded your Instagram app, please download it now. After you download the Instagram app, tap on Instagram. Here you'll see an option at the lower side of the screen. You'll see a plus sign, tap on that. There you can select post story or live. If you want to tag in your post, tap on post. If you want to tag in your story, tap on story. So I'm tagging someone in my story, so I'll tap on story. Select any other picture or a video. 
After that, tap on screen, type at the rate and type the name whoever you want to tag. After that, tap again on the screen. You can place it any way you like or you can make it smaller or bigger. After you are done with that, type on the lower right side of the screen. It's written send to, tap on that. And again, at the side of your profile photo, you'll see a share option, tap on that. After that, tap on done. Here you have successfully tagged someone on your story. How you can change your username of Instagram. So first of all, what you have to do is open the Instagram app and log into your account and go to your profile by tapping the profile icon which is on the bottom right side of the screen and when you reach your profile tap on the edit profile option now you can see there are four options which are name username website and bio and to change your username tap on the current username that you have and it will take you to this page now erase the username now enter the username that you want for your profile now after you enter your desired username tap on the done option which is on the top right side of the screen so this username isn't available so i have to add some digits or change the usernames so i'll just add two numbers at the end and tap on done and try it again so it was available and my username has been changed so let's tap on done again and let's refresh the piece so as you can see our username has been changed so this is how you change your username on instagram how you can change your name on instagram so first of all to do that log into your instagram account from the instagram app and when you are logged into your instagram account go to your profile by tapping on the profile icon which is on the bottom right corner of the screen and when you reach your profile page you can see edit profile option right over here so tap on it now you can see the options of name username website and bio so to change your name tap on your name now you can edit your name just delete your name first and enter the name that you want for your instagram profile but you can only change the name twice within 14 days so be careful what you are going to set so enter the name that you want and after you enter the name tap on done and that's it and again tap on done and as you can see our name has been changed here how to change your instagram account into business account so first of all if you haven't downloaded your instagram app download it now and you must tap on instagram app after that at the lower right corner you'll see your profile icon tap on that after that you'll see a three horizontal line at the upper right corner tap on that here at the lower side of the screen you'll see setting option tap on that you see a various option you must tap on accounts after that scroll all the way up you see a blue color where it's written switch account type and add new professional account you must tap on switch account type after that you will see an option it's written switch to business account and switch to personal account you must tap on switch to business account again tap on switch to business account here you have successfully switched your account to business account how to change your instagram personal profile into a professional account so first of all you must tap on instagram app after that at the lower right corner you'll see your profile icon tap on that at the upper right corner you'll see a three horizontal line tap on that you see a setting option at the bottom of the screen you must tap on that here you see lots of options you must tap on accounts scroll all the way up you'll see option in blue color it's written switch to professional account and add in a new professional account you must tap on switch to professional account after that continue 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 now you have successfully changed your account into professional account
how you can find message request on your Instagram account. In order to find a message request, first you need to download the Instagram application on your mobile device. Once you download the Instagram application on your mobile device, you need to create an account. If you have an, any existing account, you can log in with the existing account. Once you are logged into Instagram, the page will look something like this. On the upper right hand side corner, you can see a messenger icon. There can be an arrow also. Tap on the messenger icon. It leads you to your direct message folder. If you can't find your message in this direct message folder, you can see on the upper right hand side, which is located just right above the search bar, request. Tap on request. By clicking on request, you have now open message request. You have to select the message by clicking on it. Click on the message. So here you can see the message sent by the user. It has been prompted to accept or delete the message and the user. Hit accept to respond to the message and decline if you want the message to disappear. Once you decline the message, you will ignore it and you won't be notified when the message you. But you can still access the chat from the user's profile. Now once you have accepted it, you can find your message request on normal chat box. Now you can see it in your normal chat box. Now you can enjoy your message anytime getting notified when the user messages you. How you can hide like comes on Instagram posts. First, you need to download the Instagram application on your mobile device. Once you have downloaded the Instagram app, you need to log into it with the existing account or you need to create one if you don't have any. Once you are logged into Instagram, you land onto interface like this. Here at the bottom right hand side corner, you can see the profile icon. Click onto the profile icon. You go to a particular post you want to turn the like count off for. So here I can see my like count is 55 plus. To hide the like counts for this post, I need to first click onto the three dots that's here above in the image. Here if you go a little down further, you can see hide like counts. You need to tap on that. So once you do that, you can see your like counts have been hidden and other contacts won't be able to see the like counts on your post anymore. If you ever change your mind and you want to turn it back on, you can go to the same spot and click on the three dots and you can see on hide like count, you need to tap on that option. So by doing that, you make the like counts visible again to the post. Now if you want to hide your like counts on brand new Instagram post, you just have to click on this plus button. Select the picture you want to upload, make some changes and here you can see the advanced setting at the bottom, click on the advanced setting. Once you go to the advanced setting, the first thing that pops up is hide like and view count. Once you tap on that, you will successfully hide the like counts on your Instagram post. By doing this, other contacts won't be able to see the like counts on your post. How you can see all your like posts on Instagram. Firstly, you need to go to the home page of your Instagram account. Once you have logged into your home page, tap onto the profile icon which is located at the bottom right hand side. On the top right hand side, you can see menu button. Once you tap on the menu, you can see settings, tap onto the settings button. In the settings menu, you can see account, tap onto the account. Once you have tapped on the account, now you can see there is an option post you have liked. So once you have clicked on post you have liked, it brings you to every photo you have ever liked. Now you can search or check it out anytime necessary. So this function is specific to the profile that you are using. If you are using multiple accounts, you need to do it individually. Sometimes you want to go back to what you have liked and it's really hard to find again. But this way by double tapping, it basically saves it to the page where I could always refer back to. How you can add stylish fonts on your Instagram bio. First you need to open any browser and search for mega tax font. Once you search for mega tag fonts, it directs you to page like this. Here on the first you can see Instagram font generator. Tap on Instagram font generator. Once you are directed to mega tags page, edit text. Type in what you want in the bio. Once you type, you can see there are plenty of options. So choose the phone you like to use. You can see a copy button right next to it. Tap on copy. Once you have copied, you go back to the Instagram page. Once you have logged into your Instagram homepage, click onto the profile icon. 
Here you can see the edit profile option, tap onto that. Once you go to the edit profile, you can see the bio section, tap on it, paste it on your bio. So once you are done, you tap on done, done again. Here you can see updated bio with new form and now you can enjoy using your Instagram with very striking fonts and very fun looking profile. How to fix Instagram notes feature not showing. Now the notes section generally show up on the message section on the top. So as you can see, I do not have on mine. Now this is a new feature added by Instagram. There is nothing that you need to worry about because Instagram slowly releases it to everyone not at once so but if you don't have it you can wait out a couple of days and within a couple of days you should have that option but if you want to get this feature quickly you can try out a couple of things the first thing you can check is if you have updated the app of Instagram so head over to the Play Store or the App Store and check if there is an update now after you update the app you still don't have that feature you can try to report a problem to instagram directly to do that open up your instagram and then head over to the chat section and quickly take a screenshot of it that we can add it to the problem section now all you need to do is tap on your profile tap on the three lines up top tap on settings and tap on help and then lastly tap on report a problem now a default screenshot will be added automatically. You can remove it and tap on gallery and add the screenshot that you just took. And after that, you can also type in something like this and you can tap on send to send the problem to Instagram. After a couple of days, you should be able to get the notes option on your account of Instagram. How to add music to Instagram story. But it's quite easy to add any music to your story. Firstly, let's capture a story to add in the music. Tap on the plus icon down below, tap on the story section and you can upload your previous story or you can take a story right away. For now I've just captured a black screen. Now all you need to do is tap on the stickers icon on the top and after you do that you'll see an option of music right here but if you don't you can always search it in the search bar, search for music and the music sticker will appear. Now after you tap that you can see all of the music that is available and is free to use on Instagram. You can also browse it on different genres. So now all you need to do is tap on the music that you want to add and the music will be added to your story. You can simply adjust the music from where you want to start and where you want to end. If you tap on this 15, you can adjust the duration of the seconds. So if you only want it for 10 seconds, you can do that and tap on done. You can also tap this camera icon right here and then change the interface of the music and after you're done you can tap on the done option on the top and there you go now the music has been added to your instagram story now you can tap on your story to add it to your story on instagram how to repost on instagram now the only way that you can repost a post on instagram is to really take a screenshot of it and then share it by itself because there is no option on Instagram to repost it. If you even tap on the three lines on top, you cannot see an option of repost. So what you need to do is take a screenshot of the post and then crop it and share it to your own. But what you can do is you can repost the post to your story. To do that, you can tap on this share icon right here. And there on the top, you'll have an option of add post to your story. If you tap on that, you can see that the post now has been automatically added to the story. Now you can easily share it from here. And other than that, you can also download it by tapping on this download option on the top right. After it's been downloaded, you can see it looks like this. Now you can also share this to your own. Share it as a post instead of sharing it as a story on Instagram. How to get notes on Instagram? Let's get started. Notes are a new feature that has been added on Instagram. To be able to see it, you just need to click on your messages section on the top right. And on the top, you would have an option of notes and you could also see other people's notes. 
now if you don't see this option there's no need to worry about because instagram is slowly adding in this feature and this feature may not be available to everyone now there are a couple of things that you can do in order to get it faster now first thing you need to do is make sure you have updated the app of instagram head over to the play store or the app store and check if instagram is updated if there is an update make sure you update the apps because updating apps helps to add in new features now the other thing you can do is you can see on the bottom there should be an option of beta version i've already joined the beta version so it doesn't have on mine but if you haven't you should have an option of beta version the beta version is the latest version of instagram with where they test out new features and if you get that beta version you have a high chance of getting all of the new features added on instagram so you can tap on beta version and install it on your device now the last thing you can do is you can report a problem directly to instagram to do that open up your instagram tap on your profile icon tap on the three lines on top and tap on settings now tap on help and then report a problem Now here you would want to type in the problem that you're facing, which is you do not have the notes option on your Instagram. You can type in something like that and you can tap on next to report the problem. Now after you reported the problem, hopefully Instagram sees that and adds in the feature of notes. How to add multiple photos on your Instagram story. Firstly, let's head over to the story section by tapping on your story on the top left. Here you'd want to tap on the camera and capture a blank screen first. Now after you captured your blank screen, you can also change the color of your screen by tapping on the three dots up top right and tap on draw. Select the color that you want to add and tap and hold the screen for a few seconds and the color will be added. Now after the color has been added, tap on the stickered option on the top and choose this option right here. You will need to select this particular option and after that you will be able to add in pictures from your gallery. And as soon as you do that you can see the picture has been added. Now adjust it to the screen where you want it and again repeat the same, same process. Like so and you can add in as much as pictures as you want until you fit the screen. How to remove professional account on Instagram. If that sounds helpful to you then make sure you watch it till the end and let's get started. From the home screen of your Instagram tap on your profile icon on the bottom right and then head over to the three lines on the top right. Tap on settings. Now here you would be able to see all of the settings that you can manage for your account of Instagram from here you would want to tap on accounts right here and scroll down to the bottom of this page where you will have an option of a switch account type now, so if you want to remove a professional account on Instagram all you need to do is switch your account type tap on this option and tap on switch to personal account Now as soon as you do that, you will be able to see that all the features which a professional account has will have been removed. That means you have successfully removed or switched your account from a professional account to a personal account. How to share Reels on Instagram Story Now from the homepage of the Instagram, choose the Reel that you want to keep as your story. Once you pick the Reels, tap on it and from there tap on share icon you can see the option add reels to your story on the top of the menu change your background color or do whatever you want before you add this as your story and now after you're done with editing your story you can simply tap on your story on the bottom left corner and here you can see my story has already been posted and just like that, you can share reels on Instagram story. Now let's move on and open your Instagram app. Now tap on the profile icon on the bottom right of the screen. Tap on three lines on the top right of the screen. Now tap on settings from the menu. 
Now from the settings section, tap on account option. Now again tap on the first option that is personal information. Now here you can see email address on the first option, tap on it. Now remove your current email and type in your new email address. Now press tick on the top right of the screen. As you press on tick, confirmation code will send to your new email address. As soon as you receive the confirmation code, type in your code on login code box and tap on next button. Now here you can see my email address has been changed. And just like that, you can change email on Instagram. If this video helped you out, then don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel. I will be back soon with similar videos. Thanks for watching.